Really? It says, lucky that my breasts are small and humble, mm -hmm. so you don't confuse them with molehills, really? mountains, or madonnas. That would be kind of weird. What's the answer? Um, I'm going to go with the first one. That would rhyme best. Right. She said mountains. Oh. Lucky that my breasts are small and humble, so you don't confuse them with mountains. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, this, what are you going to do? I mean... I wouldn't confuse them with mountains. No. I mean, why would you? I mean, totally do not confuse them with mountains. Can I just show that picture of Shakira? Of course. I'm a fan of pictures of Shakira. Okay. There is a picture of Shakira. Yeah. Crazy. So is that what we were just discussing while I hit record? Let's talk about Shakira for a little while. <laughs> Shakira Talk. Welcome to uh, Shakira Talk. Uh, today's topic is Shakira's Shakira. breast like mountains. Yeah. Humble, not like mountains. Well, anyways. Welcome to Coffee and Comics. Um, comics and Coffee. It's either way. Okay, because I've been writing. No, it's, it's, it, it it's is, but it's, I say it either way. Okay. We are your hosts. This is Frederick. Hello. I am Jay. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's been. Let's see here. It's been a lot, lot of stuff ending. A lot of stuff starting up. Uh, a lot of stuff I've missed out on. Yes, he's been doing adult things, which is understandable because you need to do adult things sometimes. Sometimes, but rest of the time, not all the time. But. Nonetheless, um, Captain America came out today, so if you're in line to go see it, it will be well worth the line, trust me. Uh, if you saw it last night, I know, right? It was the ridiculously great Marvel movie of, of now, of right now, because I don't want to say of this year, because Guardians still need to come out, uh, Spider-Man still needs to come out. Is there anything that you could say was better than Captain America as far as Marvel movies? I would have to say that uh, a lot. There was a lot of people that said that um, Captain America from the first movie in the Avengers, were he was the cheerleader of the Avengers. And he was a cheerleader of his first movie. Um, uh, not this time. I don't agree with that, but well, that, there was that, a lot that's of people. not your point. There ahead. was a lot of people. Not this time. I'm pretty sure everyone, when they see this movie, is, they're going to be... Uh, Stands alone, pretty badass. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you see him with his suit on, like he has like an Under Armour shirt on, that dude worked out. Yeah, that's what, that was my thing. In the Avengers, he didn't look like, like that he was massive ripped. dude like he right. was on the on camera. Right. No, no. He is completely ripped. Well, that's crazy. And that's what, and it's ridiculous. By the way, um, when I, I went with a whole bunch of friends, right? Mm -hmm. And one of my friends, he was on his, he came, right? And we were wondering what girl he was with. He brought our manager. Ooh. Was it see. awkward? Very. Uh, did you have to contain yourself a little bit? No, no, no. I, I don't care, really. I don't care. Yeah. But it was just a little surprise in the beginning of going, wait, that's our manager, and she's hanging out with us. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. And I told her too. But anyways, <laughs> Captain America, Winter Soldier, go see it. Because it's, it's going to be amazing. And stay, stay for both endings. Because the first ending is amazing, the second ending, second ending is also kind of creep, kind of like eerie, but then a good eerie at the same time. So can I ask you a question? Huh. Being somebody who didn't get to watch the midnight show or right. watch it today, right? The the tail end of it was it uh, was it Iron Man three, Thor two s, or was it more informative? Did it give you lead-ins to something else, or was it just like whatever? It was Captain America standalone movie, and the endings led into the Avengers for next year. But they didn't mention they didn't meant they were saying a lot of age stuff, but they didn't say age of Ultron. They were just mentioning age of age, just a hint of what's yeah. coming up. So, um, yeah. So also we have the Walking Dead to talk about because not a lot of people. 
like the ending of that. What? Well, they didn't like it. They're like, this is a shitty ending. No, they were like, what the crap? Why did it have to end this way? Yeah. Uh, I didn't see S.H.I.E.L.D., but didn't see Shield he didn't see S.H.I.E.L.D. either. No spoilers uh, but there, I heard that Deadlock, there was more of a Deadlock episode where they had him in his outfit. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Arrow. Um, I missed it. What does she get? Really? Good lord. Have mercy. That Stupid show was amazing. I finished it this morning. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was amazing. Last week, last week. Oh my god. Um, and I want to talk about How I Met Your Mother series finale. I didn't see this, it but fucking... my wife and I called this like years ago. Like literally. Wait a minute, you called... Three years ago. You called that he was going to find the love of his life, live happily ever after, and then somehow her wife was going to die? No. What we called was that the mother was going to be somebody not in the cast. Right. He was going to meet her. Right. Have kids with her right. so that he could tell the story. Right. And then somehow separate. Because to me, the show was always um, Ted chasing right. Robin. No matter what turns it went, no matter the fact that for two seasons almost she was with Barney, regardless of the fact that she married Barney, to me it always felt like the Ted and Robin show. So I always assumed he was going to end up with Robin in the aftermath of everything. So we called that long time ago. Years ago. So I, I didn't watch it, but somebody told me about it. And it was just like, yeah, that's that's the only way I saw it ending. I Did it blow job. you away? No. It got me angry. Angry? Why? Because I spent almost, what, let's see here. How long has this thing been on? It's Ten seasons? Ten. No, no. Nine seasons. Nine. Something nine, like that. Something like that. Nine or I spent nine seasons mm -hmm. watching this show thinking that I was Ted this whole time. Yeah. And I, I would love to have friends like that. Yeah. Right? And giving that hope, you know, I like that whole feeling of him like going through and like losing hope, then gaining hope again, then losing hope, and then having adventures with Barney and all this. Yeah. Right? Then I got really happy when he finally met. The mother? The mother. Yeah. And they had all this stuff in common. Right? And they immediately just spilled out all like, yeah, I was in your uh, economics class. And yeah. Yeah. I, we could have met here. We almost met here. Yeah. And I found this umbrella at the uh, St. Patrick's, you know, that stuff. Right? Yeah. But it just felt like they rushed the ending. They felt like, really? they felt like, um, shit. We, you know what? Why don't we just make it all about Robin? I get it. It may have been all about Robin, but really, do not, why would you do that? Why would you show us how he finally meets the woman, the love of his life, the woman that says, oh my God, I don't think I'll ever find someone that I will love as much as the guy that she talked about ever again. And help you spawn two children, which is the girlfriend from Kick-Ass and Justin Russo from right. Wizards of Waverly Place. Right. I have kids. I, I know that too. I knew that too. You knew that too? I knew that too. But at the same time, why would you do that? Why would you show that and then go, oh, guess what, guys? She dies. And then she ends up with Rob. I don't know. I, I missed that entire season, but I just, I assumed that's what it was, was going to happen. It was, it, because there were even in the last season I saw, Marshall told him, right. you might have given up on you and Robin. Right. I haven't given up on you and Robin. To me, that's like, why the hell would you even say that? If the show isn't going in that direction. No, I knew it was going in that direction. It just, don't do it. It just disturbed you. It bothered you that yes. that's how it went down? Yeah. Sorry to hear that. That you would find the love of your life. You would have a glorious, you know, glorious years. And then all of a sudden, guess what? Uh, that's a gun. I don't think she was the love of his life. I think she was the catalyst for him having children and telling the story. I think Robin, from the first time that he met her, was the love of his life. In the season, which was season two, yeah. where they were actually together, right. honestly, was my favorite season. The whole time where they had that inside joke of like, oh, it's just a general statement. Right. General statement. Yeah. Like, to me, that was like, dude, that is the best couple. Even though what he wants and what she wants did not meet up, you couldn't deny that they weren't, they were the best couple. I lost my Anyway, smudge. okay, so that's over. 
because, you know. That's how I felt at the end of Dex. I know. I devoted eight years of my life to this crap, and he still doesn't get a happy ending. Because he swam from Florida to Canada. Was it Canada? I think it was in it was, Alaska. Uh, and Who cares? It's somewhere it doesn't there. matter. It was a geological fuck up because you can't go from Florida. I'm sure he swam and, and back uh, to land and somehow made his way up no, there. No, I'm sure he no. did. All right. Anyways, okay. Dexter. So. Dexter. <laughs> okay, so Walking Dead. Um, Are we going to spoil it? It's, Should we dude, spoil it's already going to be like the next Sunday. After the finale, it's already done. All right. Look, you've if you have it. if you you've have seen not seen Walking Dead, yeah. By the way, we're recording this on Friday, right? It's the day Captain America comes out. Right, Friday the fourth. Yeah. Because we all been busy and we haven't been able to do it normally on Tuesday, so Friday and then next Tuesday you'll get another one. So it's kind of like a bonus thing. Yeah. So anyways, and so I'll yes. have two Agents of Shield, maybe. Two, maybe. So, if you have not seen Walking Dead, um, you need to get into it. Anyways, okay. So, Walking Dead. Were you upset as everybody else was? No, this, because this when I heard, first of all, when I heard when Rick was teaching Carl about traps and snares and stuff, I knew that traps and stuff were, there was going to be some trap. Yeah, it was going to be a metaphorical thing to act what it was actually a foreshadowing happens. Of yeah, it. of what. It's gonna happen to them. Yeah. Now I knew Terminus was a jacked up. Place. Of course I did. I knew Terminus was cannibalism when I saw the rack of ribs <laughs> on the barbecue <laughs> at the other ending. I love that they ran past the slaughterhouse of all these skulls and spines, yeah. and that was so. Oh man, it just laid it out so perfectly. Like I was asking, I was asking everyone, where did they get the ribs from? And everyone's like, I didn't see the ribs. Yeah. I'm like, what do you? How could you have not? There was a whole grill. Yeah. Ribs. How? How? You're in a train station. There's no meat there. She was even looking at them like they were delicious. Yeah. Welcome to Terminus. Right. Sorry. So. Creepy. So what? Uh, first of all, Rick is back. Badass Rick. Rick is back to being Rick. Yeah. Because him fucking like, I think he was still a little bit of the old Rick, and then once he headbutted and the gunshot went past his ear, that woke up, that yeah. woke up the Rick from yeah. season three. I think it was the uh, watching your son about to get raped by a 300 plus pound man. That would have woke up the Rick in me. Right. That so. Was, so to get his like to get his ass kicked and to have the guy just be like, "What the hell are you gonna do?" and yeah. literally take a page out of the zombies book and bite the dude's and neck. And there was no hesitation. No, it wasn't like, "What should I do now? Should I bite this dude's neck?" Nah, it was just like, "What you gonna do now?" Yeah, and that dude <laughs> literally died. Died right there. Oh, right. that was and then amazing. And the his two other guys covered in blood. The two other guys got season. shot in the head. Michonne, and then, and then the, the dude with the knife was like, oh, shit. Yeah. He didn't exactly. know what to do. See, okay, my thing about this episode, right. it did not go where I thought it was going to go. I thought everybody's stories were going to come together, and we were going to have some badass Avenger. You remember the whole yeah, thing we yeah. got off on. Right. I kind of expected something along the lines of that. So to be entirely about Rick mm -hmm. and Michonne, who's my favorite character, right. and Carl, who was at one point one of my favorites, and then to throw Daryl into that story, it's like, all right, you've already got my favorites now. I don't care where everybody else is. I know where they are. Right. I don't care what's going on with them. Right. So I wasn't upset by that, even though it's not what I expected. Um, that was badass, dude. That was, yeah. you can't. And then to, did you see that uh, when they ran into the gymnasium and they saw that fat circle of candles and everything? Shrine. Remember? Yeah. 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 Did you recognize all the names? There was like names in the circle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are all names. I saw names. I didn't. Yeah. So it was basically, name. basically, all those people. They either killed, eaten, or trapped in uh, containers. Those people are now poo and bones. Yeah, but they've trapped other people in other train containers. Yeah. Did you notice that? I didn't. When Rick, there was more containers. Yeah, because when Rick and all of them were running past 
opening the door to go to the, the shrine area, uh-huh. they you uh, I heard people screaming help. So That's help right. Get they us were. Help yeah. Us? yeah. 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 And then to then to have them getting trapped by like shooting at their feet with bullets and yeah. pushing them into like a trap area. Yeah. They're playing with you. Right. They're and, not trying to kill you. They're playing yeah. with you. It was, and then to just put them all in a train and then it's have chaotic. everyone. Yeah. Like, you don't know what you just did right now. No. You, wow. You screwed. You messed up. And I think Rick said it best. Yeah. They are screwing with the wrong folks. Oh, of course. The yes. only thing that this worries me more is um, now that this is our group, somebody's going to die. And at this point, there's nobody that I am okay with dying. Like, had this been four episodes ago, I'd say, Bob, kill Bob. I don't like him. He's kind of creepy. But then Bob got his own episode. Right. And I was like, holy crap, I kind of like Bob. Don't kill Bob. I don't know. Who's going to die? Someone. Tara, we haven't, we haven't gone into her story yet. So right. I don't think she's going to die. I don't I'm know. worried. Someone, I'm yeah. a little worried. Yeah. Someone's going to die. Yeah. Where's yeah. Tyrese and Carol? Are they just living they're, happily no, ever after? No, they no, they're on their way. They're, they're following. The yeah, they're following. They're probably following the train tracks like everyone else. So, but it was very smart that Rick hid the bow, mm-hmm. the sh- two shotguns, and his revolver. So in once a bag. they get out of there, right? It's on. Oh, it's. So how long do you think it's going to take to get out of there? You think they're going to do like I the Daryl Merle thing where it was all that build up and then it was over in the here, first five minutes? Here's what I think. There, I think. When we go, when we come back to them in October, mm-hmm. I think we will be like they will set it six months after they've been trapped, oh. and Rick, Rick, and everyone has been planning and plotting on how to do how to get you know take over that place. In the meantime, they've been living like prisoners. Right. Okay. So that's gonna be you know that will be fine. Yeah. Now, uh, I think when the beginning episode they're gonna show that they're gonna show how they've been plotting and planning and. All this stuff. Yeah. The next episode is where shit gets real, and they take over people, and it's just full-blown, just chaos. Do you want to make any predictions about who you think is going to die? I would say... I'm always scared to guess black people. (laughs) I think Tyrese is going to die. I think Tyrese has had his usefulness. I don't think the show is going to keep him on too much longer. I hope he doesn't die. Right. Because I want to see him unfold. Right. And become the Hulk that I know he is. Right. Because he's still a very timid, friendly giant. And I want to see him lose his shit. Not on Rick. On somebody who actually deserves it. Right. And then... I don't know, man. I'm just... I, right now, I don't want anybody to die. But I'm sorry. I, what, who, no, who I, do, I have no idea. No clue? No clue. It's just we'll have to wait. Yep, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait and watch one of the eight shows that we're going to want to watch. I really wish I saw Captain America last night. Because Walking Dead's coming back. Walking Dead will be back in October. Gotham's going to be out. When? And all of this fall. All in the fall. Lucky. Gotham's going to be in fall. Constantine's going to be in the fall. The Flash is going to be in the fall. Arrow's going to come back. Go DC. Even though I'm repping Marvel. Go DC. Um, yeah. I mean, Arrow, I think this is going to be season finale on the 16th of April. So, uh, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, and so and then, you know, all that stuff's coming back. Um, a lot of things happen in Arrow. Oh, Like, God. I was thinking about season one, how it started, and right. how it ended. Like, right. so much crap happened. So much crap happens at the end of this episode of Arrow. Really? Damn it. Jesus Christ. Wow. And I don't, I don't use that lightly. It's sorry to all the, you know, Christian people. But, Jesus Christ. It is ridiculous. I mean, there were so many things that popped in there that were like, oh, shit, that's what, that's so-and-so. I, I, I'm trying not to spoil yeah, it for Yeah, sorry. I'm trying not to spoil it for this guy. And I, the last thing that made me go, what the shit, like I had to stop rewind and go wait a minute no was what that's no she's good whoa no, wait at least tell me who it involves is oh, it canary no it involves um i 
can't, I can't say it yeah. because it's going to expose really? the whole episode. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> All right. I'll see you tomorrow. It's either, no, no, Monday. It's okay, either, Monday. look, it's either I tell you now and then you watch it and you won't have the same reaction. Or you wait till Monday and then we'll talk about it more on Tuesday. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Let's do the, all right. On the Tuesday? Yeah, let's do it on Tuesday. Okay, but. I want to know. I Look, I'm willing to tell you. No, 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 don't tell me. That. Okay. But it just, it, look. I, I don't know what else to say, but it's gonna, shit's going to get real. Nice. I like when shit gets real. There's going to be too many people with too many fucking awesome skills. Who do you think is going to die? No one's going to die. No one's going to die? No one's going to die. Sarah. No. Sarah Lance is going to die. No, Sarah Lance is not going to die. Is uh, Laurel Lance not ready to be Black Canary yet? No, Laurel Lance. Oh, there's another thing I can't talk about. All right, sorry, I'll stop asking. Look, the only person that I think <laughs> has has the slight chance of dying. Thea. No, none of the fa- none of the Queen family, and none of the Arrow family, but one of the people that assist the Arrow family. Lila. No. Detective Lance. Maybe. My wife likes that guy too. Weird. My wife has a crush on him. Yes. Arrow. Yeah. So, I you know, it's just it's. Uh, damn it! I'm telling you, look, I can do it I'll right now. I'll see it. I'll see it. Don't okay. worry about it. I'll All see right. it. Let's let's okay. go somewhere else. But it just, oh my god. No, what else you got? I just I, I can't get into it without. No, no, no. I'm saying what other uh, okay. topic oh. you got? Guess what, guys? Um, since a long what was it? Three years ago, uh, when Young Justice was on. Ooh. Uh, now, and since it canceled and people are trying to get it back and... Ooh, are they really? They were trying to get it back and didn't oh. get enough steam because I think I'll, there was there was a lot of, uh, I don't know, there was just a lot of angry people saying that how come you canceled Young Justice? It was getting so good. Yeah. But at the same time for me, it was kind of hard to keep up with all the characters that all of a sudden just appeared. Was it going too many different directions? No, and like season two... They uh, they had this whole thing of like the Justice League was uh, blacked out, and they woke up and they uh, found out that they were mind controlled into stealing a whole bunch of things, and now that the Justice League is wanted, the you know Young Justice young was Justice out to it. out to find out who it was. Well, then it goes it goes it goes forward it goes forward into the future where. Nightwing is there now. Uh, Kid Flash is grown up. Does Tim Drake come in to be Robin? Everyone, everyone. Now it's now it's the Titans. They're not like it's no longer like the Teen Titans. It's now it's the Titans, right? Oh. But also, you see Barbara Gordon in it. You see Tim Drake in it. You see. Uh, you see Dick Drake. Tim Drake. Oh, Tim Drake. Tim Drake. Uh, you see Impulse come for the thirty first century. Um, you see Superboy, you see, you just see a whole, you see Beast Boy, you see really? Raven, yeah, you see Raven, wow. you see Wonder Girl, you see just a whole, take all of the Titans. Cyborg? I think he's in it too, yeah. Take all of them and just like, they go from like the past, finding out who framed the Justice League to 20 years later, everyone is just now, everyone is here and Young Justin so I'm like wait what how did what just too too many sideways uh... there was too many awesome characters in it but it didn't it just anyways what I'm trying to say is that Young Justice is now on Netflix I think the <gasps> yeah what yeah the first since when four days ago Ah, oh, damn it that's when I lost my internet You're four days ago Young Justice came on it is now on Netflix nice. so if you have Netflix you can go watch Young Justice. I oh, believe no. it's the first season. First and second, I... You know what I hate about little kid DVDs? What do you hate about little kid DVDs? I bought three. Right. Three DVDs of Injustice. Mm-hmm. And that did not even get me through the first season. Well, of course. They were just single DVDs. Crap. That's why I hate little kid DVDs. Why can't they sell them in season? Do they not think that little kids have the attention span 
to watch an entire season marathon. Yes. They got to give it to them in like four episode intervals. Yes. Crap. <laughs> That's all I got to say about it. Well, kids today are There's not... There's grown-ups who watch little kid shows. Right, but kids today are not necessarily, you know, attention-oriented. La. That show Because you, you have an iPad, you have an iPhone, you have interactive TV, you have, you know, just a whole bunch of plethora of interactive stuff now, so it's not one thing. Nah. So... Whatever, that sucks. I know. But you'll be able to see it on yeah. Netflix now. So Not till Monday. <laughs> you have a lot of stuff to catch up I on. Do. <laughs> It'll be a good week, though. I, I promise you. Next week should be better than this past week. Right. You, you know, grown-up stuff. Again, grown-up stuff. Totally grown fine. Grown-up stuff sucks. <laughs> totally fine. It still sucks. All right, uh, let's see. Do you have anything for Scattered? Scattered? I don't know when you're going to post this. If it's not going to be up till tomorrow, then I'll say... Today, right. we will be at uh, World's Best Comics on Watt Avenue, doing some signing and probably selling some prints. It'll be myself, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Publisher Jason Duby, right. uh, I believe Calvin Ellis, okay. the artist on Shadowhunters. Right. I'm trying to look up the address right okay. now. And uh, I think the most recent addition to the Scattered family, right. Tim, um, Tim, Gunn? Tim James. Tim Gunn. Wait, what do I know? <laughs> Oh, this frightens me. Um, Timothy James, who does Comics vs. Manga, I think, is what he got assigned to. Okay. Um, and it is at 2608 Watt Avenue, Sacramento, California, 95821. That is going to be Saturday? Saturday, tomorrow. Tomorrow? I love you. Tomorrow. Okay. Nice. I, you know you yeah, I know. I may show up to that tomorrow, too. You should Look, show up to that. Because I'm off one job tomorrow. Yeah, so. Nice. Alright, um, also, let's see what else is going on in the universe. Game of Thrones is coming back. Uh, wait, is that an HBO show or is yes. it Showtime? It's an HBO show. <clears throat> you know what? I'll what? be able to catch up on that too because <laughs> we just found out the package that we're getting right. comes with HBO. Hey. I'll catch up. All I've been hearing is, you haven't seen the last two episodes? Oh my god. Oh my god! That's all I ever hear. What? Oh my god! So I don't know. Every time I like a character, they die. Well, that's Game of Thrones. I know. Game of Thrones, really, they shouldn't call it Game of Thrones. They should really call it Dragons with a Slight of Nudity. Or Nudity... Although, you know what? Or Nudity with a Slight Chance of Dragons. The shows that I started watching because they had nudity... Right. As they progress, right. the, the nudity dies down. Like, right. I guess... It's the hook. Like, I started watching True Blood because I heard, oh, there's politics and blah, blah, blah. Right. And I was like, yeah, I wasn't disappointed. And then all of a sudden, I'm into what's going on, and my favorite character on there is the gay dude. And I'm like, wait a minute, what's happening? And I get into the show, and then I realize, like, six episodes later, yeah. there has been no nudity in the past six episodes. But now I'm sucked into the show. Sucked. Like a vampire. Uh -huh. catch that's awesome. Uh -huh. All right. So yeah, um, I watched True Blood. Yeah, True Blood was pretty good. Also, since you know, April Fools was on Monday, right? I think so. But yeah, there was some pretty awesome like fake stuff. Like really? uh, yeah, there was a. Uh, I missed the internet. There was an Optimus Prime DLC for Titanfall. Is it true? It was false. No, it, was, oh, it was totally false. Geez. It was a pretty awesome Titanfall thing though because. All of a sudden, you they show you the beginning of Titanfall, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you hear, uh, in if you haven't played Titanfall, uh, in Titanfall, there will be, a, on your right-hand side, there will be a little picture-in-picture uh, -picture kind of thing where your operator will tell you, hey, your Titan will be ready in two minutes. Mm -hmm. Right? On and on. Well, in this promo, it uh, Optimus Prime, the voice of Optimus Prime goes, Prime ready in two minutes. And then... All of a sudden, you just see Optimus Prime hit the ground. So and they went all out. With they them. showed like they literally did, like in-game just... stuff too of just Optimus Prime firing and shooting and stuff like that, right? And it was pretty awesome. And then at one point, they showed Optimus Prime. Optimus, he hits the ground, right? And he's like, Prime, Autobot uh, engaged, meaning he, he's, he's ready to there's cast. no one there's no one in him yeah. operating him. So he's fighting and everything. And then at one point. 
goes and grabs one one person, right? Puts the person in his chest, and he says, "Prime transferring the pilot." And so the pilot's controlling Prime, and it's just shooting, 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 wow. and it's pretty awesome. At the end of it, you hear Optimus go, "Titans roll out," and it's just all the Titans walking, <laughs> and the truck, and the truck is just driving, and it just like goes Titanfall, Optimus Prime DLC coming soon. And I'm like, that was great. I know that's not real, but, wait, but that was great. Did they tell you, like, flat out, this is false and you're stupid no, for believing it? Look, or is it just, it's on April Fool's Day. It's so on April Fool's see. Day, so either you were really gullible to believe everything on the internet, or... If they put forth the effort of putting together a cinematic But that's like how that, awesome the internet is. Yeah. Is you can totally go for Well, go I haven't seen it. Usually, like, I saw this trailer for uh, uh, Thundercats back in the day. Right. And it was like, okay, that's obviously from Chronicles of Riddick. That's obviously from Troy. Like, right. I, I, know, I haven't seen this trailer you're talking about. So in my mind, it just all happens the way it's... Look, every April Fool's, every April Fool's uh-huh. day, the internet, it's almost like the internet's... How do I say this? Almost like the internet's uh, spring break. Yeah. They're able to just, like, go nuts with anything that is real and put more fictional stuff into that. Club Lumina. So, there was a lot other, there was a lot of stuff that was cool. Um, what else? Tell me another one. What else was there? Um, oh, there's a, uh, I subscribe to this channel. It's uh, MM Morphing. I think that, hang on, let me, I want to get this right. Uh, it's a YouTube page. Uh, this guy works works in a uh, works with Power Rangers stuff. So if you're really into the Power Rangers and you're really into Super Sentai, yeah, that's why I subscribe to this channel. Super Hentai. I'm not Sentai. Uh, what is this? Ah, MMPR Toys. The guy's name is Bruno. Um, go go to YouTube and subscribe to this guy because this guy is pretty amazing. His name Bruno. Bruno. And this is, you know, it, the YouTube channel is called MMPR Toys. And so it just goes through all the toys with Power Rangers, gives you all this other news of what stuff's coming out and stuff like that. So he has this really cool wall in the background where he has all of the Japanese Power Rangers toys, Megazords, sets, everything behind him, right? It's a really cool wall. But he, he, he goes into saying that he uh, is literally wanting to get rid of all of it and he has making nerds everywhere you go he has a massive he has a massive he has a bigger collection of Mr. Potato Head than he does of Power Rangers and he wanted to literally do a contest where he would get rid of all of that all of his Power Ranger uh. stuff uh, and he gave out a contest name he's like name the Green Rangers Megazord right mm-hmm. name Dragon Zord's Basically, he was saying the name of Megazord that was in that Green Ranger was using for the contest name. Okay. So he was saying that he was saying name that person in the comments, and uh, my he was like my best friend Jason David Frank, who was the original Green Ranger, will pick up that. will pick up all of my toys, put them in the Dino Thunder semi truck, and drive it wherever you are. Right? He said he was going to use that and. Basically, it was a very elaborate April Fool's joke, which I thought it was hilarious. A lot of other people did not think that was hilarious because he also said that Go Busters that was in Japan is actually going to come to America and they were going to run two simultaneous Japanese series in America at the same time, which doesn't make sense, but it was April Fool's. That was another April Fool's thing. So... It, yeah, there was. Tell a, me another one that's not Power Rangers. I don't know. Power <laughs> Rangers. Uh, right on there was another one of I Harto and Daily Grace. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. So why would I talk about this? Don't no, talk about okay. something I know. I don't. <laughs> I'm stepping out. Oh, I met your mother. Tell me no, you we already went over that. I think. I think we will end here because I was trying to stall so I, I know flesh out Glenn a little bit more. I um, know, but I'm almost done. Yeah, he's been working on this for a while. 
Um, I have. It'll be available as a print soon. Yeah. It'll be available as a print Some tomorrow. Day. No, not tomorrow. Don't say that. <laughs> so go to a World's Best Comic Book Store. If because it's not it's, ready as a print. It's going to be ready as a print tomorrow. It will be hanging up, ready to go for $20. How much? $20. So uh, get your money ready because nice. he's going to only make two of them. Nice. And he's going to sell them for $20 a piece. I can do that. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. So, also, yeah, also he's going to be selling the banner for Scatter Comics behind him. He's going to be selling that for $5. Oh, nice. So, so go up to Jason Doobie and right. say, hey, man, I heard. <laughs> uh, no, don't, don't do that. You're fired. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yeah, it was a joke. Don't do that. Um, no. Uh, yeah, so this will conclude. Wait. Okay. All right. I'm, All right. I'm still working on that still working on dead it. picture. But it's getting progressively now I've awesome. Added right. Riot Glenn. Right. Who might Glenn. not look like Glenn. Maybe he looks but, like an anime version of yeah. Glenn. Yeah. Whatever. I don't Whatever. Know. Shut up. Yeah. Okay? Shut up. It's Glenn. Yeah. So, Give him a little Asian eye. He's Glenn. Right. Uh, that's not racist at all. It's uh, not. Because <laughs> it's true. All right. So um, just uh, let's see here. Oh, we are both going to be at Free Comic Book Day yeah. on May 3rd at Empire Comic Books. Yeah. So show up to that because it's going to be free comic books. There's going to be uh, wrestling. There's going to be a wrestling ring what? out there. Really? Yeah. Nah. There's, yeah. He told Outside me that. in the parking lot? Yeah. There's going to be another. So awesome. There's going to be an audio podcast right next to us. What? Uh, Is this Ben's podcast? No. It's... Just somebody else that he uh, Ben's asked. friends. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it's going to be a great day. Uh, also, we're going to do a Google, live Google Hangout. Uh, May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. While watching all the Star Wars movies. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I still got to catch up on that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, on May the 3rd, free right. comic books day. Right. I'm going to be at River City Comics. I right. don't know where that is. Okay. I'm not it's really sure. Probably in River City. Probably in River City. I didn't know that was That's an actual place. the name River City um, Comics. It's cool because San Antonio is River City, and that's where I lived before. Right. Okay. That will be, I think, from 10 to 6. 10 but to 6. I will be there a little bit late because I will be at, at Empire. Empire doing right. comics and coffee. Right. So it's going to be a busy day for us. Yeah. But at the same time, it's going to be amazing. It'll be awesome. It'll be a day full of comics. Right. Then I can honestly say to my wife, hey, I've got, like, stuff to do. Right, relating to comics. comics. Right. Yeah. Also, um, please, 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 go to scatteredcomics.com yeah. and check out all the amazing artists because they sponsor this show and they are very good people. This is one of them. Hello. He is very good. Uh, Jason Doobie is a pretty nice guy. Very nice guy. Everyone over there is pretty nice. Jason also, Doobie, Calvin right, Ellis, right. Kristen Reese, right. M- uh, Melissa McCommon does, uh, I think she did Cappy Voice. Right. Uh, Noel Serrato. Uh-huh. Um, Timothy James. Right. I'm blanking. I'm sorry. Ooh. Everybody else I Blank, forgot. blank, blank, blank. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Those are the ones I see. On, five, on a, uh, five out of how many I'm is sure there? there's a lot more than that. Yeah. But, yeah. Right. So, go to that website. Go buy the comic books that every comic book store there is. Um, also, go to... There's Blackjack Comics that you need to check out as well. They're pretty awesome. They have their own Batman, Superman-esque type characters. No, no, no. no. It's Batman Punisher. Love Child with no money. No, I'm just saying it's oh, an esque. Oh, okay. All right. It's an esque S. type people. Uh, those people are amazing too. The uh, what else? Oh, follow this guy on Facebook. Yeah, Art of Frederick Allison Jr. Right, look that up on Facebook. Uh, follow me at Short Nerdy Guy on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter Short Nerdy Man, and uh, yeah. everywhere else is Short Nerdy Guy. Right, except Twitter. Somebody took that on Twitter. I know it's it's really easy. Um, and find then, them. And right. be like, hey, how come you're not Jay? Well, because I'm trying to get stuff off the ground. Did you show that image that I sent you this weekend? Did you get the full color version of it? Yes. Are you going to, like, put it on there on, on the well, videos? Yes, when, you know. Superimposed? Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah. 
It's going to be amazing. I haven't been to film school in a, a decade. I don't know the phrases anymore. I am. It's a, so, yeah, thank you, for, thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks. Please read more comic books. And draw more comic books. Thank yes, you. I'm working